After watching this video, you're gonna know how to create some of the most realistic looking images. Wow! with Nano Banana Pro. Images like these. Today, not only am I showing you some amazing prompts, but I'll also be giving you an amazing prompt generator that will create these sort of AI images with Nano Banana Pro. And the best part is, they create highly detailed JSON prompts. Arguably, this is the best style prompt to use with Nano Banana Pro. Simply provide your subject or style and watch the AI realism magic happen. And to do this, today we'll be using one of my favorite all-in-one tools design AI but what we're working on today is the text to image one right here now the other amazing thing about this is that design AI also has AI video tools including some of the most trending most popular ones so whenever you generate images you can then quickly convert those to AI video if I select text to image it's gonna take me to this canvas page right here once I'm on this page right here up in the top left hand corner we could select the specific model we want to use Open this up and here it is right here. There's some great filtering styles on the left hand side. Now back in the all styles, you could see some of the newest ones. For example, we have the latest models, C-Dream 4.5. We also have the new Flux.2 Pro and Flex, but today we're gonna be spending time with Nano Banana Pro. So go ahead and select this one. And make sure you check the links in the description to try Design AI for yourself. In addition to all of the prompts I'll be sharing today. Now before I show you these incredible prompt generators that make images like these, let me first show you some amazing Nano Banana prompts to use for yourself. Oh, and by the way, Look what happens when you convert these images to AI video. Just capturing the moment. Hey everyone, just enjoying this beautiful day. So let's head over here into my prompts portal database. Now, if you have access to this database, you're gonna notice a few new tabs, but right now the most popular one, the newest category, this one right here, Nano Banana. Now, these are gonna contain some of the best possible Nano Banana Pro prompts that you could possibly use. They're also gonna contain some of those incredibly valuable JSON prompts that are pretty long, but the impressiveness on what this can actually generate with the exceptional levels of realism is really just going to be so mind blowing. So let's first go ahead and generate some of my favorite ones. Then we're going to move on and I'm going to give you this amazing prompt generator. And we can see right here in Nano Banana, the level of attention to detail is something that this model can do that other models in the past could not do. So for an example, look at this image right here. Now in the past with any sort of model you would use it would never in a million years get this text right so let's go ahead and try this prompt right here this makes incredible looking images okay now you may have seen something like this on social media because images like these have been trending we're gonna go ahead and try this for ourselves so here's the first one I'll give you we're gonna head over here into design AI on the left hand side make sure you have nano banana pro selected but let me show you a little bit of a tip in order to use this the right way now on the left Left hand side, we need to go ahead and paste in our prompt. There it is. It's pasted in. But one thing you will notice is that down in the top left hand corner, but at the bottom, you could see that we have exceeded our character limit. We're at 1800 for 1800. Now in design AI, 1800 is the max amount of characters you can use. So we can't generate this image. No problem. You can easily change that by coming into an LLM. Now I'm in chat GPT, but you could also use Gemini, Grok, or whatever. The first thing you need to do is simply paste in the prompt. There it is right here. But what you'd want to do up at the top, you would want to type in something like this. You want to say shorten this prompt to a hyper condensed, instead of 1500, you could say no more than 1800 character limit okay that way it's going to be under the 1800 that design allows okay you can see my original conversation is this condense it so it will not exceed 1800 characters and it still maintains the same level of realism meta tokens and json compatible now this prompt actually got flagged because it got moderated for being too risky. So now it asked me if I wanted it to redo it. Okay, so here we are. Here is a clean, safe, fully condensed JSON version of your prompt. Go ahead now, copy the code here. Back over here into design, we're gonna go ahead now simply paste it in. It is well under the 1800 character limit. Let's go ahead now generate this one. Okay, so let's come back here in again and let's do a few more very quickly. And then we're gonna take things to a whole new level. So as I scroll down, you could see what levels of detail we're gonna get and they're all gonna be pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and generate this one right here. We'll go ahead and copy the whole thing. 
Go back into design, and this time, let's make our output quality 4K and 16.9 for the aspect ratio, and now generate that one. Now, you also may have seen one that looks like this. These are also very popular right now. Okay, but it does look like our other images are done. Check these out right here. Look how amazing this first one looks right here. Again, incredibly realistic. The one right above it in that 16.9, amazing as well. Now notice this. Look how impressive this is with getting the actual YouTube logo and spelling accurate in addition to the text on her right hand side monitor. Now let's move on and let me show you this incredible or both of these prompt generators. Okay, so for this one, we need to head over into my prompt generators database. Now, prompt generators are prompts that generate prompts. I'll go ahead and show you two. The first one is gonna create amazing realism. The second one will do the same thing, but this time, the second one will switch to realism to more of a Pixar style animation version. So let's start with the realism one. There is the full prompt. Again, it's gonna be pretty long. Go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. But now now, before we start that process, look at this incredible image we just got in design. Now, again, this looks incredibly realistic. And keep in mind, this was made with a condensed version of that JSON prompt. So now, in order to first use a prompt generator, we first need to open up an LLM. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and paste this both in to Gemini and ChatGPT. There it is right here. Now, we're not creating the images in here. We're actually getting the prompt to create the image. So go ahead and paste that full prompt generator. We'll also come into ChatGPT and do the same exact thing. Now, once it's in here, the first question the AI will ask us is this right here. Please send your scene description and I will immediately generate the full JSON accurate iPhone style max photography prompt. Now this is chat GPT. Gemini over here will say the same exact thing. So let's go ahead and do two versions and we'll generate two completely different styles. So for the first one, let's go ahead and say a 24 year old woman taking a selfie in the penthouse suite luxury hotel in Las Vegas. We'll submit this one. Now for the second one in Gemini, let's change it up. 24 year old man taking a selfie courtside at an NBA basketball game. Now here's what we do. Instantly, look, we're going to get the prompts right here. Okay. Here's the first one we're going to get the woman taking a selfie at a penthouse suite. Now, again, this is probably going to be exceeding the limit of 1800 characters. If it is no problem, we're going to do the same trick we've been doing to condense both of these. Remember what we said earlier? Now, what usually works the first time is rewrite this prompt and keep it under 1800 characters, but make sure it maintains the same level of realism. Consider the spaces as well. Now back in design, top left-hand corner, 1783. This worked flawlessly in Gemini. Let's go ahead and generate this one of the man at an NBA game sitting courtside. ChatGPT will also copy this one. Here is the one from ChatGPT, and now we'll generate this one. So now we're gonna have two images being generated at the same time. Now, while these are thinking, let me now show you this next prompt where it's gonna create specific animation style images. Okay, so now back in my prompt generators database, here is the whole prompt right here. And now remember, these prompts and prompt generators will be available via the links in the description. So now with that whole prompt copied, let's go back into Gemini and open up a brand new chat, paste in that full generator here. Okay, there it is. Remember with prompt generators, we first paste it to actually get the prompts we want after we first give it a specific subject, okay? But this one specifically is gonna create the animated version. See right here, animation, photography, what is gonna be our subject or scene? Okay, beautiful. Let's go back to design and first look at these other prompts. Look at this awesome one of this man sitting courtside. Again, fantastic levels of realism. The other one right above it, woman taking the selfie, Look at this. This is also incredible. So in Gemini, I'll go ahead and say the first one, the 24 year old woman taking a selfie in a penthouse suite, created in JSON, maintain the same outputs, but keep it under 1800 characters. Consider the spaces and spacing. Okay, so there it is up in the top left-hand corner. I pasted that in. Let's generate this one. And now I did the other one for the man sitting courtside, and now we'll also generate this one. So now we have two going at the same time. Now, while these are thinking, the last thing I wanna show you is how incredible that we can package all of this together by converting these to AI video with the same process, but using different models each time, including the latest models that Kling just released. 2.6 and 01.
But first, back in design, look at this Pixar style animation one that we got right here. Incredible job. Now that's the girl in Las Vegas, penthouse luxury suite. Let's select AI video right down here in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, but first, as I scroll up, the other one is done. <laughs> Look how cool this one looks. This is incredible as well. So we're gonna go ahead and create AI videos for a few of these following the same exact protocol. So instead of doing it one by one, I'll just show you the protocol to do it once, but then I'll show you the final results when creating these videos using a few different models. So we'll start with this first animation style one, select AI video in the bottom left hand corner, it opens this up right here. The image is already on the left-hand side, ready to go. Make the prompt very simple. Pixar style man sitting courtside at an NBA basketball game. Now let's select our model. Right now it's under Kling. Select this. Let's go ahead and do the first one in Kling 2.6. And now, simple, just go ahead and generate this one. Okay, so check out the way these images converted to video. Let's add some lip syncing to these images slash videos. Wait, actually? Now back on the homepage of Design AI underneath all of their apps, let's go ahead and select View All Tools. Go ahead and select Lip Sync. Now all we have to do now is upload a face image or a face video. Now I'm gonna bring in one of these animated images we just did. There it is right here. Wait for it to upload. It automatically detected the face. Just to confirm, click on it once and now it's going to be highlighted in yellow. Once it is, now hit that next button. From there, we're going to select the aspect ratio, the original, or we can go specific. We'll go with the original. Now select next. Now, just like that, at the very bottom, we can simply now just choose our voice and then provide the script. We'll go with this Arabella one right here. Once we have a voice selected, now just type in what you want her or him to say. Okay, now there it is right there. There is everything I want her to say. And now simply generate audio. If you like it, select apply. And now down at the bottom, everything is aligned up. Top left hand side, select generate. And now we're good to go. Wow, those are insane, Eric. Oh, and by the way, look what happens when you convert these images to AI video. Hey mom, look at me. I'm on TV. I can't believe this is real. Sometimes I wonder if I'm real or made with AI. Right now, I'm just thinking about prompts. Some amazing nano banana prompts and prompt generators. Again, make sure you check the links in the description to try design for yourself. In addition to getting these prompts I just shared in this video. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the new, yeah, you already know. Click the links below, let the algorithm glow I'm the prompt star, welcome to the show